whenever we want to access the web pages hosted by an ESP module, we have to use the IP address of that ESP8266 module. The problem with the IP address is that it can change over time. It needs some extra line of codes and effort to know the IP address and it can be difficult to remember the IP address. So in this tutorial we will see how to access web pages using simple web address. This is achieved by using multicast DNS or we can say MDNS. To know about multicast DNS you can go to the link given in the video description. This MDNS may not work in some platforms so you have to install one software for it to work. This is discussed in the end of this tutorial so please watch till the end. In previous tutorial we have seen how to host web pages using ESP8266 module. So for demonstration I will continue modifying the web server code from previous video. So make sure you watch that previous tutorial. Assigning a web address to an ESP8266 module is very easy. You just have to add three lines of code. First you have to include ESP8266 MDNS library. After that in the setup section write mdns.begin function and in the argument inside double quotes write the web address you want to assign to your ESP8266 module. Let's say my ESP. Then in the loop section write mdns.update function. That's all. Now choose the correct board, port and programmer and upload your code. After that connect your system to the same network as ESP and open your web browser. Now in browser type the web address that you assigned to your ESP board followed by dot local and hit enter. In this way you can access the web pages using web address in your local network. This way of accessing works on Mac OS without any supportive software. But in Windows 7 and in some versions of Windows 10 this will not work. You will have to install Bonjour service by Apple. Just search for the Bonjour print service software and download it. Link of the software is given in the video description. Install the software and after few minutes you are good to go. Android doesn't support MDNS yet so you can't access the pages using web address from your Android device. If you are still facing some issues or you want to add more information then please share in the comment section. If you find this video helpful then please like, share and subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching. Meet you in the next video.